Hello and welcome to the Halo Collective. My name is Adam, and today I'm going to do an in-depth overview of the tried and true range precision weapon of choice for the Covenant, the Type 51 Covenant Carbine. The Covenant Carbine is a semi-automatic precision rifle that fires caseless radioactive projectiles at an extremely high velocity of 250 rounds per minute. A clip of the carbine holds 20 rounds, and the operator can hold a maximum of 88 rounds in reserve. This is a significant change from previous carbines in the series, as they had clips of 18 rounds and a maximum reserve limit of 72. It takes a single shot to the head to kill any unshielded targets, while it requires 7 shots, 6 to pop a shield, and 1 to the head to kill a fully shielded Spartan. The radioactive properties of the rounds burn at extreme temperatures, and when paired with the high velocity of the rounds fired, these rounds can penetrate almost every personnel armor system that the Coven or the UNSC possess, including Mjolnir, and continue deep into the target's body, even being able to nick bone. Once the round is stopped, it continues to burn, however, and if the victim does not receive radiation treatment soon after being shot with the carbine, they are at serious risk of death from radiation poisoning. The carbine has a maximum effective range of 600 meters. The Type 51 has been one of the Covenant's longest served weapons in the Human Covenant War, serving in action from 2526 to the end of the war and beyond. Both the Swords of Sanghelios and the Covenant Remnant often used this weapon, as did the Covenant Empire that came before them. Jackals in particular favor it due to their skill and marksmanship, though Sanghelia and Girali have both been seen commonly wielding their weapon as well. This, along with the Energy Sword, appear to be the Arbiter's weapon of choice, as he is almost always seen wielding one. In the E3 demo of Warzone, the Carbine was a common wreck and required a wreck energy level of 2 to use. However, the finished version of Halo 5 requires you to earn a wreck energy level of 4 to use a Carbine wreck card. No other variants of the Carbine exist in Warzone, as of now. Assuming you land all of your shots, you can actually kill Battle Rifles slash DMR slash Magnum players slightly quicker than they can kill you. Additionally, the high firing rate of your carbine will cause the enemy to suffer a large amount of flinch from getting hit so many times, which will make aiming more difficult. Use this advantage to effectively take on BR slash DMR slash Magnum users. The light rifle is still the most powerful of the non-sniper precision rifles, however, so be mindful of enemies using it. The carbine, being able to fill the air with rounds extremely quickly, is also a great team support weapon. If you notice your team is engaging an enemy team in a large group from afar, start firing rounds into the group of enemies to weaken or lower their shields and help your teammates get the finishing strike. That's all there is to know about the Type 51 Covenant Carbine. Stay tuned for the next episode, in which we will take a look at the UNSC Mantis. Thanks for watching, and remember to stick with the Halo Collective for news on anything and everything Halo.